Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Charles with Charles E. Snyder Third Marketing, and I am the Marketing Ninja. Get a load of that. Woo! Hey, uh, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's time for another five minutes with Charles video, which they're usually at least five minutes. They go a little bit longer sometimes, but anyway, that's not what I want to talk about today. Monday, I talked about in my Charles Snyder Raw video, forming a solid marketing foundation for your business. So let's dive right into that today. The central hub of what I meant by that foundation, or the plumbing, as I mentioned in the article associated with that video, is the repository for all your content. Whatever your profession or whatever your business is, your product or your services. Your, your website is the central hub of that foundation or that framework or that plumbing. It's what everything comes back to. And, um, you know, I'm going to be doing screen on screen, so I'm going to be switching back and forth here a little bit. But as you can see, this, you know, this is my company's website right here. The website is my central hub or my company's central hub for all the content that we produce and all the content that we will ever produce. So this is, this is the central, uh, this is where all the traffic, this is where all the links, this is where everything comes together is on your website. Now, I know some of the gurus out there recommend or state that you can do this without a website. I recommend that you don't do it without a website because this is, this is something that's, you know, one of the buzzwords is evergreen, okay? If you have a piece of evergreen content, which means it constantly produces results day in and day out, month month to month, year to year, where do you keep it? Do you keep it like on one of your social media pages or what? Well, the concept is, is if it's that good and it keeps on drawing traffic, why not keep it in this location? Especially if you get a second one or a third one or a fifth one. Or do you want them going to all these other different places and getting distracted by social media or instant messages or whatever the next video may be? No, you want them to be on your website. So as far as the gurus out there recommending that you can do this without a website, they're full of shit. They don't know what they're talking about or they're misleading you. Either way, have a website, this is kind of the central location. Anyway, what I want to talk about is, as you'll notice, you know, I have like social media, the major social media links over on the right hand side here. Um, but that's not the whole purpose. You know, that's not the end all be all right there. I mean, this, there's several ways to get into my website, my company's website with all the different, uh, you know, content that we have been producing. Well, mainly I've been producing, but this is the central hub. Okay, this is where everything comes together. And as you can see, like all this social media listed right here, we're on all that. And most of what we produce as far as content goes, gets syndicated out to those social media pages and they link back to the article, the main article on our website. <clears throat> My nose itches today. What's up with that? Anyway, this is just the very basic concept of this whole uh, foundation, plumbing, framework, whatever you want to call it. This is just the very essential beginning part of it. having a website where everything can uh, be centrally located or linked to and from your website. Obviously, you know, as you can see on my company's website, we have all of our social media up here linked, you know, with direct links to right, right to our 
uh, pages on the other site. But I, that's not even what it, really what I want to talk about. And just as an example, this is the uh, video I just got done publishing today, this morning, well, this afternoon. But here, you know, we publish it on the website. From here, this gets syndicated out to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Google Plus. I Notifications of these articles go out to all these different social media pages that we have, and all of our followers on there get notified, hey, you know, there's new content on the Charles E. Snyder, the third marketing website. And they have a link and they have a brief description there. And if they click on it, it takes it to this directly to like this article on our website. And then from here, we actually, you know, if someone's interested in the services, you know, the, you know what we're talking about resonates with them and are interested in our services, they click on here and it takes them to another segment of our website, funneling those people, kind of like moving water through, you know, water pipes. You know, the only way to get water from point A to point B without it going all over the place is you have a pipe guide that water to where you want it to go. In the same token, you guide your web traffic to where you want it to go. That's your plumbing. This is the most essential part of getting your business set up for um, online marketing, digital marketing, and especially for direct response marketing. You have to have this in place. <laughs> so take care of love, peace, and chicken grease.